This is just a quick video on replacing the fuel nozzle and electrodes in a Mazzoni ignition assembly. Obviously the assembly will come out of the boiler and it will look like this. First thing you've got to do is undo these two screws with a positive screwdriver. The electrodes then come away from the assembly, turn it over, and you can get at the fuel nozzle without being interrupted. This is the uh, fuel diffuser. There's no reason ever to adjust that. It's set and locked tighted with an Allen screw from the factory. Uh, you should no need to touch that. To get the fuel nozzle out, the easiest way to do it is to lock a corner into the vise. 16mm deep reach socket. Just undo that. Take the old one away. Obviously, your size is on the side. This is a 2.560B. And it's obviously a Danfoss. Burn the nozzle. New nozzle. Do exactly the opposite. it back up again. You don't need to be ridiculously tight because you're going to need to be able to get it undone. Remove it from the vise. Take your electrodes either side of the one of the cores on the flame diffuser and pop back in. And these electrodes don't need setting. They're already preset. The distance is right. And because you've not adjusted this, it'll be the correct distance away from the plate. Let me put these back in. Oops. The screwdriver. Again they don't need to be overly tight. Then put the assembly back together. Now if you have a quick look at this used assembly, this is done about 150 hours you'll be able to see just on the tips of the electrodes, they've lost the points, they've gone flat. And this is usually where they need changing. And obviously the fuel nozzle started to block up because it's not burning quite evenly. But that's what you're looking for. But the rest of the assembly is nice and clean. Even after a few hundred hours, there's nothing on the inside of the top plate. And it's a well-burning boiler. Bye.